we're going to wrap up this KK2 AeroSky build with the no LCD firmware and I'm going to walk through setting up the uh, self-level mode and connect it to the uh, Walkera's gear switch. And the traditional method for turning your self-level mode on is you're going to arm with your standard down and to the right with your left stick and then pushing to the right with your aileron at the same time. I'll go ahead and do that sequence right now. It's armed. Now if I unarm, you'll now notice that self-level mode is on. And to disarm, you still use the arming sequence, but you push left on your aileron, which I just did, and I'm going to disarm and you'll see that uh, self-level mode is turned off. But what we ultimately want to be somewhat easier and you could argue fancier is with this Walkera transmitter we want to connect the gear switch so that we can uh, toggle in and out of self-level mode. And to do that we'll start with connecting our lead into the gear plug on the Walkera receiver and then we're going to take the other end of that of the lead and plug it into input number five on the KK board. Now with our receiver wired up and our programmer in KK2 connected, we're going to use the no LCD command line utility. Okay, now we're going to do two things with this self-level setup. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to menu option C and we're going to change self-level mode from our sticks to auxiliary port. So I'm going to hit C to change and then hit B to go back. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to option F and we're going to set our P gain and P limit. Now values that I found to be pretty useful uh, for the P gain, I'll hit C and then I'll type 50, hit enter and then I'll hit C again to change the limit and I'll type 20 and I'll hit enter and then B to go back and then we'll write those changes to the board by hitting P and then enter. Okay our changes have been written so we're gonna go ahead and hit Q to quit and let's go ahead and test our self-level settings. Okay, so let's give our KK2 self-level a try. Now you'll notice gear switches up. So we're going to take off in self-level mode. And then while I'm in the air, I'm going to switch to manual mode. And switch back and see how it flies. So we'll go ahead and arm. And we're armed. Self-level mode is working really well. You'll notice it comes back to level. Now I'll go ahead and switch to manual mode. And now you can kind of see if I roll in one direction, it stays that way. I'll go ahead and flip back into self-level mode. Now we're in self-level mode again. So it's really tough to beat KK2 self-level mode for the money and I hope that was a useful demonstration of using the no LCD firmware to set up your self-level switch. If you have any questions or comments please post them below. And thanks for watching.